Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'll be teaching you how to get the number of lines in a text file. All right, I already written up the code, so I'm gonna just go through the code and just give you a demonstration of what I did. So we got this first function is get file line count. It takes two different parameters. The F path is the direct path to the text file that you wanna read from. The optional parameter is the type of new lines that have to actually read the lines from a file. On Windows based systems, usually the new line character is a return character in a new line. In a Unix based system, it'll just be a new line, which is just a backslash in. We have some uh, variables declared. We got a FSO, this is going to be a file system object. Regex is going to be a regular expression object. FData is going to be actual data that we obtain from the file. And line count is going to hold a, the line counts from the file. Then we have a read-only constant. This is going to be using the file system object, which is going to make sure we open the file in read-only mode only. And then if there's any error in the function, it's going to return negative one. So as long as you receive something greater than a negative one, the function passed. All right, so right here, we initialize the regular expression object. Right here, we initialize the file system object. Now we're assigning the the data from the text file to fdata. So we open the text file, read it from the path, make sure it's read only, and then we read all lines. Now for the regular expression, we set these uh, parameters for it. We have uh, global, make sure we read all the lines within the text file. If this is not set to true, it's only to stop at the very first line that is true. And then we have the pattern, and that's gonna be the inline character that we use. I'll put some other examples in here as well. So if you didn't want to have multiple line counts where there's more than one line count adjacent from each other, you can group them together and it actually put them all together as one line count. And I'll give you an example of what I mean by that once we get further down here. And right here, we just returned the line count from their regular expression. So we're executing the pattern on there. And then we got to add a plus one on there to actually count the very last line in the file. So on exit, so once we exit this fun uh, function, we return the line count to the function. Now if there was an error, we'll jump down to this part, and in the debugger window, you'll see like an error message right here with that error number and the error description, and then we also return that constant that process error, so it returns a negative one. So once we resume back to exit success, this will be a negative one. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how this function works first. And then I'm going to show you another one that I did. This one actually just displays the total number of lines in text files located in a directory. So let's go right here. So I'll comment this part out right for now. So this is the file that I'm going to read from. It's in my documents folder. Let me open it up real quick. As you can see, I got one, two, three, four, five lines in here. I can actually comment this part out too because we're not reading from a Unix type file. So if you're reading from a Unix type file, you just want to have these new lines, reading just the new lines without the return characters. So I'm going to just comment these out as well because we don't really need to see that. Okay, I don't have an example file for this. I'll comment this part out as well. I'm going to hit F5. So you can see there's five, five lines in there. And this is the part that I was uh, explaining before, like if you wanted to group the pattern, so if you have more than uh, one new line adjacent from each other and you want to count it as one, you can do that as well. So I'm going to put one, two, three more new lines in here. I'm going to save it. I'm going to run this function again. I can say a subroutine. You can see when you just, if you don't group it together, when you just use the regular um, return characters in new line, you get a total of eight, which is correct. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But if you wanted to group them all together, you still get that line count of five, just like we did before. So that could be very useful as well. And this is all regular expression patterns. All right. And then I had a, another question on YouTube, like how to get the total number of lines count in a directory. So I did make this other subroutine. It's called a sum, sum of lines and files. And I already have this. I'm gonna uncomment this out. I can actually comment these out. So if you don't really want to sit down here. So I'm gonna read from my documents folder. So right here, I have two text files. I got VP servers and that data text file. I'm gonna take these new lines out again. And then save. So we, you know we got five lines in this file, and we got two lines in this file. So let me go through the function first, and then we'll go ahead and run that demo for you. So I, just, I named the subroutine the sum of lines and files. SPATH will be the directory of where you want to read the text files from. And then we got, got the basic variable set up like the file system object, then we have a folder object. And this is all using that file system object. And let's see. So I'm going to jump through most of this because most of this is repetitive from the other function. But we have that sum variable, and this is going to hold a total number of lines that we're counting in the files. And then we have a for each uh, statement that's reading all the files in the directory. And then I'll also include this if clause in here because I only wanted to read text files in this directory. But this is optional. Like, if you wanted to remove this as well, because you already have all the files that you want to read from in that directory, you don't really need to do this. But since I only want to read the files that end with .txt, that's why I'm using this part right here. And then we have this is like considered a temporary variable because what this does is get the total number of lines from that previous function that I created that actually gets the file lines, get the file line count from a file. And you can see I don't use that optional parameter because I already know that it's going to have a return characters and new line at the very end to create the new lines. And then once we get that, after we get the line count, then we do sum equals sum plus the lines right there. And once we loop through all the files in the directory, then we make it to the end of this function. And then we just print out the total number of lines that were found with the files combined. So let's go ahead and run this. You see I'm reading from my documents folder, I'm hit F5. You see it's a total number of li uh, lines is seven. Go back in here. Save. Yeah, five again. Total number of lines is eight. If you didn't want to use that shortcut key or F5, I'm just, it's pretty much the same thing as right here. It's doing run, just press this button and it do the same thing. As long as you have the cursor inside the subroutine. I'll go ahead and uh, post this code in pastebin and put the link in the description. I'll also make a copy of this Excel file and put it on my OneDrive, and I'll also have a link on there as well if you want to just actually have that actual Excel file. And all this code can be found in the file read module. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask, or if you want me to show you anything else that this can do, or you need another type of demonstration, just let me know. All right, until next time.